Oh yeah, guys, I'm driving the world's most capable, the world's most iconic overlanding rig, the 100 series Toyota Land Cruiser, but Andre said he's brought something even better. Oh my God, I don't think that's even better, but in this video, I'm gonna to prove to you that this is a vehicle you want to take around the world for you and your family. No, you're wrong, Roman, because I brought the vehicle for adventures all over the world, it's a Mercedes-Benz. It's a Sprinter, it's four-wheel drive, it's diesel, and it's built up into a luxury home by Storyteller Overland. I have just one question, Andre. What? How much does it cost? I will tell you at the end of this video. You know, there's only one thing, and one thing only that you need, Andre, when going around the world, and that is reliability and this ARB built 100 series Land Cruiser has it. So when you are stuck in Tasmania being attacked by a bunch of rabbit wombats, this vehicle will get you to safety. Roman, I'm sitting in a precision made German engineered vehicle. Reliability is not a problem, but what you do need, you need comfort, you need a home to come back to. Even in the middle of Siberia, this is really comfortable. Let me show you. For example, you have to start with a full kitchen, including a kitchen sink, of course, a fridge, and a dining room table for the outdoors. I interrupt this video to let you know about this week's TFL Bids bargain. As you know, we have many cool off-road SUVs and trucks for sale right there, but this one has been owned by TFL Studios right here in Colorado. This is a 2020 Ford Raptor and it has pretty much every single option. We have driven it for about 5,600 miles, but now it's time to move it on. So you can go to the site, use the link in the description below. You could bid on it and hopefully get a great, great deal on a really freshly and gently used Ford Raptor. And don't forget, use the submit button at the top of the screen to also sell your truck or SUV on tflbids.com and have it go to a like-minded enthusiast. Andre, first and foremost, when going off-road, you of course need the proper off-road gear. Let me show you. I of course have spare fuel so that I can go around the world and not run out of gasoline. I also have, check this out, a spare tire. But you think I did not come prepared for your kitchen sink. Because check this out, dude. Not only do I have a built-in refrigerator, but I also have a built-in refrigerator that slides out and my dining room table. Plus, I have all the recovery gear and all the safety gear that you need when tackling the hard stuff. I don't think you can do any of that in that Sprinter. This starts out as a very capable Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 4x4, but then Storyteller Overland just go to town to make it the ultimate Overland rig. Let me show you what they've done. Storyteller adds this agile off-road suspension, also using Fox shocks, so you know that will take you on a bumpy road in comfort. Also these tires, B of Goodrich all-terrain tires, beefy black rhino wheels. Yeah, I get that, Andre. So what, you're lifted and you got big tires. I've got bigger tires, I've got a bigger lift, and I've got a snorkel, which everyone knows is key to going around the world. Really Roman snorkel? <laughs> what you really need for your next adventure is actually a comfortable bed. Not one, but two of them. Let me show you, Roman. It's very, uh, actually, convenient. Just one step, you're in this bed. Very comfortable mattress and they've extended it so it's wider. So even me at 6'2", just over that, I can comfortably sleep back here. And Roman, before I show you the second bed, let me show you one of my two showers. <laughs> so check this out. So there's cabinets up here, and then you can actually unravel the shower cover and actually shower on the inside, so you're not cold or exposed. Check this out. Here's the bottom of my shower. Here's my total curtain. 
and boom, hot and cold water. Here's my second bed, so really you could have about three, maybe four people stay in here in a pinch. And I can, oh yeah. <laughs> Roman, if you're feeling more adventurous, you can have a shower outdoors. Boom, right here. And also this van has something that's very, very unique. A lot of onboard electric storage, 12 kilowatt hours. So I can run the air conditioner, the heater, the accessories, the lights, even maybe the microwave for a while off the grid without being plugged in. All right, Andre, I'll grant you that. Both an indoor and an outdoor shower is nice, but looking at the sky, I've got my very own outdoor shower coming and I've got that, look at that, a rooftop tent. Maybe not as comfortable as the inside of your Sprinter, but it certainly is much more compact. There's a Volta power system control panel up here as well. Here's your battery status. And the battery can be charged with the alternator with high idle as well, so you can more quickly charge your batteries or solar on the roof. Here's your heater control and some of your hot water and furnace controls right here, all in one place. Now this is what I'm talking about for charging your battery. This is a very unique feature. First, the auto start arm. If you arm the system, then the engine will actually automatically kick on if the battery goes below 25%. And it will actually go into high idle automatically. You don't have to be with the van. You just have to make sure that the van is outdoors, obviously, and parked securely. And then also you can enable high idle mode using the boost mode feature. So what that does, it just charges your battery faster. So Andre, I also have a battery. It's got a massive 12 volts and check this out. I have a temperature control. It lets me control my temperature up and down. I have air conditioning. And if I want, I've got automatic temperature set and forget. But Roman, do you have this, a power awning with lights? I don't think so. Look at this, I also have an awning, Andre, and better yet, this one is manual, so it doesn't need power and it won't break. But check this out, we've got these massive ARB off-road lights, and of course, a very strong winch to pull your butt out of trouble when that thing gets stuck in the mud. Yeah, Roman, those ARB lights are cute. I also have two up front. I have a steel bumper, but to top that off, I have eight more lights on the roof. Check it out. I also have surround lights to the back, to the side. I also have 360 degree cameras, which you don't have, Roman. I think this is pretty funny, actually. So Mercedes, of course, from the factory has four wheel drive switch and four low, low range for slow speed crawling. But it's not obvious. Plus, I have onboard air that Storyteller provides. So it's translated here. <laughs> There you go, there you have it. Andre, under the hood I have, check this out, a 2UZ-FE. In other words, a 4.7 liter V8. That is one of the most reliable, one of the most dependable engines that Toyota has ever put under the hood of a Lexus or a Land Cruiser. And Andre, look at this. I also have onboard air, so you're not the only one with an air compressor. Check this out. I've got a front and a rear air locker. In other words, I can triple lock this Toyota Land Cruiser, making it almost unstoppable in any kind of situation. I have turbo diesel power, three liters of displacement. This engine is very, very torquey, about 325 pound-feet of torque, and it's backed up by a seven-speed automatic, so it's got good power and also good efficiency, so you can go long ways across the world. All right, Andre, we started this video by asking you how much is that bad boy? Now, how much do you think this Land Cruiser is with over 200,000 miles? Well, it's got a lot of equipment on it. It does. So, yeah, so what, 25? It's going to be over 30K. But the bigger question is, how much is that home on wheels? Well, Storyteller Overland has several different levels of van build-outs. They start at about 149 grand. Yep. But this one, with every unique feature, and I love that battery system, 
189 grand. So the good news is both of these will be for sale. We're gonna be hopefully selling that at TFL bids. And if you want yourself a home on wheels that will go around the world, go to storyteller.overland.com. As always, this is Roman. And Andre saying, start your day the TFL way. That's yep. your new uh, catchphrase. You like that? Yeah, independent and honest. Yeah, because we do videos every morning. Anyway, yeah. see you guys next time. Ciao.